Hello everybody. Um, in this video we're going to do something that we did before in the Microsoft Excel series uh, which is um, uh, drawing the McKeith-Healy diagram to calculate the number of stages for um, distillation, um, uh, binary system distillation. And this is, um, as you, you might know, that this is a shortcut method that's used to give a, an estimate of the number of stages before going to the detailed calculations which are the uh, uh, trade to trade calculations. I'm not going to go through the details of the process because I've already done in the Microsoft Excel series. Um, I'm going to put the links to the, um, the, uh, the, the two videos that I uh, used to um, uh, describe or uh, illustrate the uh, background of the uh, calculations and everything. Um, I, here I'm just going to go through the steps quickly um, uh, so that we do not repeat something that has already been uh, discussed before. So um, what we need to draw uh, is um, an XY diagram um, which wh where Y is the mole fraction uh, on the vapor phase and X is the mole fraction of the liquid phase both for the more volatile component. We draw um, the 45 line, the equilibrium relation um, which uh, it's got experimentally or whatever if you have a relation like what we are going to do today uh, we draw we know the flow rate we know the uh, feed composition which is the x feed and um, we know the uh, distillate composition we know the bottom product composition we know and these are the desirable um, compositions actually this is what I, I need to get from the distillation um, and I know the uh, reflux ratio and this is something that we we can calculate uh, as we will see in the uh, this video or the next video um, and usually we have the um, after some some uh, um, calculations or some derivations we can reach these um, equations um, and this is the equilibrium relation y as a function of x or x as a function of y where alpha is the relative volatility which is the vapor fraction of the more volatile component divided by the vapor fraction of the less volatile component um, this this uh, equation is is uh, sometimes works for some systems but it doesn't work for others uh, especially if the system is non-ideal so um, if the system is non-ideal then you need to try to find an equation that fits with the data that you have um, and we have here the top section line which is a straight line and this is the bottom section line which is also a straight line and we have the Q line and the Q line is the locus of the intersection of the top uh, line and the bottom line and from this equation you would see that um, these, this is the top section line and this is the Q line and Q is a variable that depends on the phase of the feed. Is it superheated, subcooled, or saturated liquid, sub saturated vapor, whatever? Um, and we uh, we cannot draw the bottom line because uh, 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 bottom line uh, uh, directly. I mean, because we do not know uh, these these terms. We might know the L over V for the liquid uh, in the bottom section or, or for the for the bottom section, but we can, we do not know these W and V dash. Um, so we, we get the intersection of the Q line and the top section line and this is one point on the bottom section line with the XW and XW, we can draw this line and we now are ready to calculate the number of stages. So this is um, what we're going to do now. Um, uh, again, the, for the Q line we have five cases um, as you see here and depending on the value of Q we will get the um, shape of the line. Um, so let's uh, first for this video um, I'm, I'm gonna split this on, on like two or three videos so that we we do not spend long time on, on the same thing um, so for for the first part we will draw the equilibrium curve we will draw the Q line and we will see how we can um, get them to be drawn uh, using the tools that we know in MATLAB and this is gonna be a very very good exercise because we are gonna use many uh, features like we will we'll use the um, uh, plotting uh, options we will use the uh, if solve options and we will use the function handles we will use many many things uh, and there will be if conditions and for loops or, or while loops so it's, it's gonna be a very uh, very rich uh, exercise actually so let's go for MATLAB and see what we will do. So I will start a new um, program. I will call it, um, I'll just uh, write a note that this is a program to calculate um, or to plot the McCabe-Feely diagram. 
Okay, so let's. I, I, I like all, uh, always to make the uh, pro the file as organized as possible because this will help me troubleshoot any issues that I, I do. So I'll I'll put uh, the first part of the uh, givens and inputs, and here I'm gonna put any variable that I'm gonna change so that I do not uh, mess with anything uh, in the in the body of the program when I am changing the the inputs. Um, so everything will be will be put here. So the the inputs that I have is xd, which is the the slit composition. I would say, for instance, this 45 x. Uh, I mean the xf, which is the feed. Xd is gonna be 0.95. I'm just putting any values, and then I, we will change them as as we want later. And the xw is gonna be 0.05, and we will put the q as 0.5. For instance, we will put um, what else we have. Let's go back here. Um, the r is not now. We will go to r later. Um, Okay, we we can we can we can um, start from here, and then we will add any uh, more variables if we need to uh, do, um, and then we will go to the second point, which is drawing the uh, forty-five degree line um, and equilibrium curve. Um, the equilibrium curve uh, and the forty-five. So the forty-five degree line is going to be easy. So it's going to be plot. Um, and I know that it starts from 0 and ends at 1, and from 0 and this ends at 1. Um, so the x is 0, 0, and the first point is 0, 0, and the second point is 1, 1. I would make it um, black, um, and I'll make line width. And if, if you remember when we did this in Microsoft Excel, we used to make the lines very, very thin so that we, we can get exactly the values that we are looking for. Um, and here we will not need to put any uh, legends actually because uh, this is a very known um, diagram so I don't need to define every single line and th w there will be a lot of lines here so I, I, I will not be able to do this um, I will put the grid line and we need to keep the uh, plot held because we will put many many lines on the same plot so we need to make sure that the, the, the plot is held um, we need to plot the equilibrium relation, so I will make y equilibrium for instance, it's going to be a function handle, um, and here I have to define the value of alpha actually, which is going to be, um, I'll make it 2 for instance, and then the equilibrium relation would be alpha multiplied by x divided by 1 minus 1 minus alpha multiplied by x so I need to just uh, make sure that this is right uh, alpha x, uh, yeah okay so the equation is right and then we will f plot the y equilibrium um, and I'm gonna start from um, 0 to 1 and um, yeah we can make it black and let's run the file, I would call it mccape1 and let's see, so it's now uh, running the program um, it's kind of, it's, it's still busy now, so it's still uh, running but there is some sort of, no there's no errors here, so okay so the plot is, is, is now done um, I, I like to do something else which is to make sure that the limits of the uh, axes is set as the value I want so I put set GCA uh, x limit from 0 to 1 um, and I'll do the same for uh, y limit because we will we will um, draw some lines and they may extend out of the zero and one, so I need to make sure that the the limits of the um, uh, of the axis is set as the values I want. Um, so now we are we are kind of good now with the um, uh, with the uh, forty five degrees line and with the equilibrium curve. And now we need to go to the next point, which is um, drawing the Q line. Uh, so the Q line, if we go to this um, this equation, it's Q divided by Q minus 1. This is the slope, and the intercept is negative 1 divided by Q minus 1 multiplied by x feet. So let's let's define them. 
um, so I would make Q slope is Q divided by Q minus 1 and Q intercept equals um, minus x field divided by Q minus 1 okay and now I can um, draw like Q equation um, Um, and this is going to be at, it's a function handle, uh, which is going to be q slope multiplied by x plus q intercept. Okay, and now I can ask MATLAB to plot the q line. Um, and um, and this, this is going to be one point that needs to be um, taken, like, kind of more in more details so um, when I when I use the f plot here in this equation so what I'm gonna do is f plot the Q equation I need to put the range of the uh, Q so it's it's gonna start with X feed I know that it starts with X feed this is how it starts from and then it might go to larger values or smaller values of X um, so I need to put a conditional uh, or an if conditional to let MATLAB know that if it is Q uh, Q is, is um, larger than 1 then it's gonna go to the right so I need to put the range between X feed and X or put it as 1 and if it is smaller than uh, the, the Q is, is smaller than 1 then it needs to go from 0 to X feed um, so here I cannot do the if plot directly I need to put an if conditional uh, based on the value of Q so I'm, I'm gonna put if Q is larger than 1 then um, the if plot is gonna be from X feet to 1 any any value larger than that um, I put it as 1 to be the maximum value of the of the um, uh, of the diagram um, and um, um, I'll, I'll, I like to make it all black because we will put the colors later and else if q equals 1 and if q equals 1 then you don't need to do anything actually that is um, uh, kind of a function plot because you know that is a vertical line the x is always constant the y would be starting from x feed and ends at any value larger than that so I'll, I'll make it like one so here I'm gonna make it like a plot um, between x feed um, and um, the value of x is always x feed and the value of y is gonna be from x feed to 1 okay and else if q I need to put another equal q is larger than 0 and q is smaller than 1 and in this case it's gonna be an f plot as well but this case um, so if plot needs to work between two values one is uh, the first is the smaller value so it's need to start from 0 to x feed and then else if q equals 0 it's gonna be something like this plot but in this case it's gonna be a horizontal line so it starts from x feed and ends at, at 0 and this is gonna be the same value of y for both and else it's gonna use the f plot um, here and we will end so let's let's check so now I'm, I have all the options for plotting the um, or drawing the queue line um, so this uh, oh I, I forgot something which is extremely important which is to make sure that you delete everything and close everything before you start because it's gonna make a big mess so here you see that this is the the Q line um, let's try different values of Q so I'll, I'll I try the value between 0 and 1 let's try value that is negative for instance um, the Q is working if I want to make it a, a value larger than 1 for instance this is what I'm expecting um, if you put it as 0 it's working no uh, oh I didn't change it to zero it's working and if you change it to one 
it's working and this this is a point that um, I, I um, got some questions about in the Excel series because um, this this gives an error because when Q equals zero then you find that the slope is infinity and then you have to put Canon if error um, uh, command there in Excel and here this is what we put here um, I like always to make the colors consistent I'm sorry I'm kind of paranoid about that but this is something that is extremely important to me um, because um, this makes me more comfortable anyway so now we are we are able to um, do the plotting and make sure that we have the equilibrium line uh, I mean the equilibrium curve and the Q line drawn and then the next step will be drawing the top section line and the bottom section line and then we will see how we can draw the stages on the diagram so I'll stop here and I uh, will see you in the next video inshallah goodbye